Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. It is Black Friday and let me tell you, there's a great deal from AE Juice right now. It's the I Want It All bundle and I've been using it the past couple years and it's fantastic. And this year, there's over 50 packs now. I'm talking seamless transitions. There is newspaper constructors. It's really cool that I'm gonna show you. Film textures, VHS effects, creative titles, neon glitches. I could go on. I'm not gonna be able to cover everything in this video, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite effects and how to do it. So right now, how to get the Black Friday deal. It's 96% off right now on the website for everybody, but with the discounted price that you get, you can get an additional 10% off using my code GAL10. And all of the links that are down below are my affiliate links. So if you purchase with that, there's no additional cost to you and it helps support the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna break down four of my favorite different packs showing you different effects and some tricks to make it work better. Time codes are just down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you need to do is install the AE Juice Pack Manager. And I have a link to it just down below to download the starter pack. If you're you know, not sure if you wanna buy the pack yet, you can download the free starter pack, which includes a few freebies in it, so you can test it out. After you install the panel, you will go up to Window, Extensions, AE Juice Pack Manager, and you will get this new window that pops up. And after you log in, if you click on account, you can log in or log out. You will see all of the packs that you have purchased. And to download them, if you haven't downloaded one of them yet, you can click on this little cloud icon here. Before you download it though, one tip I have is going into the account settings, which is new. Here you can actually choose the storage path. So if you don't have enough space on your computer to download these assets, you can choose to set it to your portable external drive. And I would recommend using a solid state drive because it's faster. Another really cool update is the languages. They've now added all these new languages here in addition to English. So that way, if you speak a different language, it's a lot more accessible to you. All right, so the first pack I'm going to show you is the seamless transitions. And this is my favorite pack and I use it all the time. So I'm just going to click on it. And here you can go through and preview all of the great transitions here. One of my favorite transitions is the target zoom. So it's this nice swirly transition. If you just click and hover, you can see it. If you wanna make this a little bit smaller, you can reduce the size and see more to quickly browse, but I like it bigger so I can see it up close. To apply it, so right here I have in my timeline, this nice footage of this guy walking on this fake planet Mars and it looks pretty cool. And I want to place a seamless transition between two of the clips. So how do you do that? The best way, and here's a really cool tip, if you press the down key on your keyboard, it'll take you to the next edit point directly at the edit point. So wherever you want to apply it, you can apply it there and then you can press up to go back. So exactly at this edit point, I want to place one of these target zooms. So you can double click to apply it or you can click and drag now and drop it in your timeline and it will import. And now we have the transition applied and better yet, it comes with sound effects. All of the transitions do. So we can play it back without rendering and we can see how it does. Wow, wow, wow. And of course you can adjust the level of the sound uh, using your essential sound panel to lower the volume. So you can go through each edit point and apply the seamless transitions. The best part is it's nicely organized in the AE Juice Pack Manager. You don't have to re-import the transitions into the project panel each time, nicely organized. And you can create a little sequence just like this. Thank you. 
So the next pack I want to show you is the newspaper pack. And this is a brand new pack. If I go into products, you can see the newspaper constructor. Double click to open that up. And look at this, all of these cool, these are motion graphics templates. So you have the big front page, you have headlines here. You have headlines with photos, so you can actually replace the photos using the new media replacement that's available now in motion graphics templates. There's just photos. So if you wanna show any photo, you can drag and drop it here. There's also quotes, which is really cool for documentaries or if you're doing a YouTube series that requires source material. There's also some fun social network ones in newspapers, so like tweets, but as if they were in a newspaper. And then there are texts with some highlighter effects. So if I was gonna take one of these headlines, I can just double click to apply it and it will import the motion graphics template directly into my timeline here. So to edit this, you'll select it and go up to window and go to essential graphics. And this will open up your essential graphics panel. And you also will notice that the AEJuice Pack Manager is its own window. You can't dock it right now. I did give feedback that I miss being able to dock it into Premiere Pro. In After Effects though, you can dock the panel. All right, so essential graphics. So here you can change the headline. So here I will change this to, it's a good time to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Gal. So after I enter that in, I'm going to render this out. This is what it looks like. It's a good time to subscribe to Gal. So it was really easy to edit here in Premiere Pro, but if you are experiencing lags using the motion graphics templates, you can always use the newspaper constructor in After Effects as non-motion graphics templates. So it's a lot faster in After Effects. And let me just briefly show you how to use the photo motion graphics templates here. So if you wanted to, for example, use this photo here, you can drag and drop this into the timeline. The way that this template works is that now with the media placeholders, you can actually click up here and replace this placeholder with one of your photos. And this has two placeholders. So that's the way that these motion graphics templates work. And you can easily use these motion graphics templates to insert cool newspaper clippings, let's say in one of your documentary videos. All right, so that is Newspaper Constructor. Now let's go into film textures and some VHS effects. So here we have our friendly astronaut on Mars again, and I wanna make it look like this was shot on film. I'm gonna go back to the products here and click on the film textures. If I wanna apply the 16 millimeter, for example, I can just double click and apply this. And you'll see it is automatically placed on top of the clip. We'll need to click and move it into place. You'll also notice it covers up the video. And this is where we have to go into blend modes. So you're gonna go up to effects, or effect control, sorry, and go into blend mode and change this to multiply. And now this is nicely overlaid on top of the footage and we can just play this back to see what that looks like. And it looks pretty good. You'll also notice it's not as long as the video clip itself. That's no worries. You can just hold the alt key if you're on a PC or option on a Mac and click and drag and it duplicates it. And then you can line it up and you can see how it snaps together like this. That's because I have the snap tool on and I can just roll this edit back to meet the duration of the clip. Of course, if you have a bigger timeline, you can actually roll this out. And if there's multiple clips, you can actually grab both of them at the same time, hold the alt or the option key and drag it out to duplicate it again, but double the length. So that's a quick way to work around if you're working with multiple clips. So I'll just go ahead and delete that and roll this out. And let's look at some color grain as well. So I can click and select these two clips that we just added and drag them up. So here I can see my color grains, lots of cool different colors. I will try this green color grain. So I'm gonna double click and apply it to the clip 
And when you apply the grain, it'll automatically scale it to frame size. So you don't have to worry about the resolution changes here. So I'm gonna move this over here and then I'm going to play around with the blend mode. So let's go up to effect controls and we can play around with a few different blend modes. We can try multiply first just to see what that looks like. And it looks okay, it's a little dark. So I'm going to try overlay or soft light even. Soft light is pretty good, soft light. You can see some of that texture and this is what overlay looks like. So if you like the way that this looks, we can duplicate this film grain just like I showed you before, hitting Alt, Option, and dragging over, then selecting both of them, Alt, Option, and dragging over, Alt, Option, and so on. So now we have the original clip, which looks like this. This is the original. And this is what it looked like after we applied the film textures. So the film textures, these are a great way just to add some dynamism to your video edits or music videos. And also another popular effect are the VHS effects. And I'm going to actually be going into After Effects to show you how to use this. It is available in Premiere Pro, but I find it's actually cooler to use After Effects and a little bit easier to layer the effects right now with the way that they built it. So inside of After Effects, I have the little astronaut again, and I want to apply some VHS overlays, some camera overlays and distortions. So you can go up to Window and go to AE Juice Pack Manager. Notice it's not an extension, it's actually inside of the Window dropdown and then select AE Juice Pack Manager 4. And then you can expand this open. And this actually fits inside of the UI, the user interface of After Effects. And you can see I already have the VHS pack open, but this is what it looks like. And the first thing I want to apply is some distortion. So here we have some distortion effects and you can select one of them. I like distortion four. So I'm going to double click and apply this and you'll see it'll come up as its own comp. And notice that it imports exactly where the playhead is. If you wanna move this over, just click and drag it over. So now we have some distortions on top of the clip and it's looking pretty cool. Another thing I want to overlay is the camera interface. So they have a lot of cool camera VHS interfaces here. I'm going to apply the interface four. And if you want to edit what is on the screen. You can double click and you'll be able to click on the text here and edit the text. Let's fit this to frame so it's easier to see. You can, you know, double click on this, edit the text to April. There we go. And go back to the demo. And I actually want to move the camera overlay behind the distortion. So that way the text is distorted as well. See how the text becomes distorted? So it's already looking pretty good, but we can add some more. Let's try some special effects. There's all of these different cool overlays. So let's apply this aberration and we'll create some RGB splits. If you look at the edges, you can see a little bluish halo and you can see some red distortion as well. And if you double click on this and go to controls, you can actually go up to effect controls and change the colors of the aberration. So if you want this to be more of a green color, we can do that and go back to the demo here and you can see now it has a green around the edges. This is already looking a lot better, but we could add some more. If you wanna add some more VHS looks to change and distort the color even more, you can go to VHS looks here and you can preview them. There's night vision, soft light. Even some of them have some like zoom glitches happening or some old TV looks, but I'm going to apply the standard five just to see how this looks. And let's double click to apply it. And already, wow, this is looking a lot more retro and distorted already just with one click. If you don't want it to be as intense, you can double click on this and from controls, you can reduce the look intensity a little bit, let's say to around 60%. And let's see how that looks underneath demo. 
that looks a little bit better, I think. So you can play around with those controls until it looks great for you. So it's just a cool way to add a retro look. Again, another really popular effect for vlogs, for music videos. And I personally like the playback and how it works in After Effects compared to Premiere Pro. But if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud, if you are an editor, I've been saying this, you need to learn After Effects. And I do a ton of After Effects tutorials on my channel. You shouldn't be intimidated. You will learn as you go and it becomes intuitive. There's just la layers on top of each other. And some of the things are located in different areas, but it works a lot faster when it comes to effects. And I prefer it personally. So that's, those are the effects. That's all I have time for. Not all I have time for. That's all I have time for because I have to go to an appointment. Um, <laughs> All right, so those were the four packs that are my favorite. Of course, there's so much more you can use. I definitely recommend checking out the creative titles, the neon glitches, liquid transitions. Also, there's some cyberpunk elements. And if you're interested in creating a cyberpunk look in HUD titles, you can check out the specific tutorial I made right up here. Take advantage of the sale. It's only gonna be on for a few more days. So definitely uh, use my links below and go. Go do it right now. What are you doing? Step away from this video. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. I appreciate it. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, the outro. Keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.